this brief explanation about uh, what, we, what is possible to do with this new machine. Uh, it's a completely new platform, uh, respect to the older generation, and uh, is designed to use ultrasound in a little bit different manner. So, uh, what is really important that is uh, this machine uses a fast parallel beam forming. Uh, we will uh, look again uh, after a few slides about that. And the result of this fast parallel beam forming, the most uh, evident result, uh, is uh, the e focusing. So, the not necessity to move the, the, move the, the focus because the machine is, uh, can focalize uh, everywhere in the same time. And uh, just a slide about uh, what is happening uh, in the machine. So you don't need to uh, only use one beam uh, at once and receive on the same crystal, because uh, you emit uh, in more than one crystal and you receive the, the, the wave in m multiple crystals. It means that it's possible to have a a frame rate completely different from the normal and higher from the normal. And in this way, it's possible to focalize in every plane without moving the focus. You can do that, as you see uh, in, the in, the in the next slides, but it's absolutely not necessary and probably is better to don't focalize because the machine do it uh, alone without any hassle from the operator. So just a few images, and you see here. No? OK. Uh, on your left, you have uh, the unfocused uh, structure and the focused one on your right. And you can see the, the duct of the pancreas is much more evident without focalization than with a focalization. Another image on your left, not focalized, or e-focusing uh, on your right, traditional focusing. Look just to the smaller a quantity of air just behind uh, the gallbladder, and you see how it's better visible, not focalized, than with focalization. Another one, this is uh, a banana peel uh, aorta with uh, um, the right renal artery, and you see, uh, look at the superficial tissue on the, the not focalized and uh, on the superficial tissue on the fo traditionally focalized uh, image. And uh, if we do, okay, uh, this is, a, is a, the zoom, look at the superficial tissue on uh, not focalized and the superficial one with focalization and you really see the difference between an, one and the other. Okay, apart the e-focusing, the machine has uh, the traditional Aloka Itachi uh, e-flow that is really good on the superficial structure. And also you can have uh, a mask and uh, suppress completely the image and uh, you have a very good sensitivity of this uh, high quality representation of uh, microvascularization. But now we introduce a different manner of uh, visualizing the abdomen. And uh, you see this is not really a uh, convex probe. This is the new probe, is a uh, CMAT probe. So no more ceramic probe, but it's completely electronic probe, silicon in probe, that is a CMAT. What is CMAT? CMAT is that, is a completely different transducer because don't have, it, have any crystal, but only the cell membranes that vibrate, emitting and receiving ultrasound. So there's some speaker and loudspeaker uh, um, inside, the, the, inside the probe. For that reason, you, have a, you can obtain a signal uh, in a theoretically better than in a conventional transducer. But more important, you can have a, a membrane vibrating at different frequencies so that you can, have a, uh, you can work at very, very high frequency, very low frequency. This new probe is emitting 
between uh, 2 megahertz and 22 megahertz. So you can use the, the machine, the, the probe, both for superficial, both for vascular, both for abdominal. So it's a one-man band probe, something like this. And uh, so you can have the possibility to look uh, with the same probe to superficial, MSK, breast, thyroid, carotid, vein, artery, uh, bowel wall, and abdomen too. And here we look. This is the, the same as before, banana peel. And you can see the aorta and the re right renal artery with Doppler. Uh, and you have a very good quality of image. But at my advice, this probe is absolutely good for abdominal. Uh, here you see uh, a patient, young patient with Crohn disease, and you have the, um, the wall that, have a, uh, that measure more than the normal, and you, on your right you see the abdominal lymph node in this patient. But if you see these clips, you, you see really well the increase of the deepness of the walls and uh, accentuated vascularization with e-flow. On the same patient, we see the ectasia of uh, the portion of the bowel before a stricture made by inflammation of the same of the of the of the bowel just behind and this is quite visible uh, with this uh, fantastic probe this is more normal is a patient with thyroiditis but we can use this uh, probe in a quite different way of course you can use that using eflow and you can see that doing elastography because the probe can do that and you can use the, the probe, of course, for vascular. But what I think is absolutely fantastic is the MSK use. In this case, you see a, a lesion, complete lesion of uh, sovraspinatus muscle. And in this way, you see the um, flexor propius of the thumb. And you see a zone of de degener degenerative uh, tendinitis inside the tendon itself. But what I really think is completely different is the possibility to change the frequency and uh, the deepness. So you increase depth, and uh, I see here the, the superficial, and there the plantar version of the foot. And you can see also the presence of uh, of a Morton neurinoma of this patient. With the same probe, you can see in the deep and in the superficial. Another case, this is the, uh, a patient with this lesion in this portion of the neck, the base of the neck, and uh, was very extensive lesion, and we see quite well the superficial portion there. Increase the deepness, and look perfectly to the lesion down to the first ribs, the absolute focalization without anything. So you just adjust the deepness, the deep uh, uh, knob, and is okay. Of course, you can do better in uh, with a trapezoid view, and you look at the ribs there downstairs, and uh, the lesion that is a lymphoma lesion very difficult to see that ultrasound uh, in this way. Of course, we know that it's lymphoma because we made a biopsy, as you can see here, and it's quite easy and quite visible. So the best thing that you can do with this probe is to make the deep, deep, the deep uh, knob as you like, and uh, without no hassle, because the machine is uh, focusing completely from the superficial structure down to the deep. And this, I think, is uh, absolutely the best thing that you can use this probe. Now, I think we can uh, go and look to the machine. 
So we start to see a, sh a shoulder, normal, uh, easy examination. Okay, this young lady have anything in the shoulder, so we don't, uh, we are not afraid. And uh, you see in both directions, so the spinatus muscle is perfect. We go down, we go down behind, and of course you see the, the minor terrace. And uh, okay, but if we want to look to the uh, articular surface, we just need to do that. And uh, grazie. And you can look to the clenoid surface here with the same probe, just touching the frequency of the probe. And we come back. Okay. So no problem. When you need to go down, you just touch the, the depth knob and this is enough. Of course, we can uh, look to the wrist, no problem. We look to the median nerve that here is divided in, uh, in twice. Uh, here, one portion and the other portion with a small fibrotic uh, tissue inside. Okay. I try to look if there is the median artery, but it's not so, no problem. Okay, fantastic. Okay, the same tendon as before, but this is absolutely normal, no problem, no cystic degeneration. Okay. Thyroid with the trapezoid, and you see small nodule, so you can use uh, e flow. Too much, and uh, color Doppler. Why not? And uh, do, 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 do. elasto. Da che parte sta che non me la ricordo mai lì. Perfetto. So relatively stiff nodule, but not so much, probably, so not really a problem. Okay. Uh, now we go to the normal linear probe. Traditional one, this one, okay. Okay, and you see that the results are absolutely similar to the, the other one, no problem. So you can use both probe in absolutely the same way. Okay, and uh, choose with the same result, even uh, in uh, the same situation. This probably is really fantastic for uh, MSK, no problem. And you can go behind. Quality of, of the image is really good. So the same thing that we have seen with the other probe is possible to see, of course, with this one. And you see the nerve, median nerve, quite well, under the ligament. And, uh, okay. Okay, now we go to the abdomen.
Uh, this is the absolutely traditional quality of probe. As uh, the history of uh, Aloka and Itachi, very Japanese kind of uh, imaging, very subtle uh, velvet kind of image, quite nice. You see everything, un bel respiro profondo, tieni il fiato, grazie. And uh, we can look, respira, uh, with, uh, okay. Mettiamo, togliamo il focus. Ancora un bel respiro forte. Ok, now we have a, on your right with the foc traditional focalization, on your left without, focaliz without focalization, you see quite well what is happening in Zoom. Okay, well, I want to go here. And you see the, the precision of the superficial layer that is visible with uh, e-focusing and uh, not the same thing on uh, traditional focalization. This, uh, I think, is a very good achievement uh, technically and it's quite useful during the normal life. Okay. Mi fai un respirone profondo? Maravissima. Kidney, quite well. Respira normale. Ancora un bel respiro forte. Ok. Very superficial layer, very good vision of the microvascularity of this kidney and everything is perfect ok respira normale bravissima oh. and now we try to look to the abdomen with the CMAT probe un po' troppo, sì, ragione. Ok, now it's better. And you see that it's possible just to go down. You see the, the vertebral bone here. The aorta. And vena cava in this situation. So, it's a very, really in an all-purpose probe. Uh, with some limitation, of course, in uh, obese patients, but very useful for uh, young people or children, even in abdominal. And uh, with the same way, you can use an MSK in uh, bowel loop and, uh, of course, in thyroid and in vascular examination. Thank you much. Thank you very much for your attention.